just then that the, the sound for that is meant to be in 360, and I think it kind of struggled a bit on these speakers, this setup. But yeah, why VR? Um, why VR? Because at its heart, this series was about taking you into, immersing you in the city. And although conventional documentaries do very well at that, one thing VR can do even better is really putting you, obviously it's a different experience when you're getting the sounds and the headset that there, please go watch it afterwards. But we certainly felt that, for those of you who have been to Japan, it really is it's something you can't quite describe. It's like, what is it about Tokyo? What is it about Osaka? You can say the colours and the sounds, but you really need to be there to feel it. And documentaries can do very well, and VR, we felt, was the perfect platform for putting you in the shoes and the sights and the sounds. That's right, I mean, I think that some of the places we went to, you just never would discover if you were just a tourist going to Osaka. No, you know, the fish market's just incredible when they start chanting, and again, the sound was not great here, but it really kind of sent chills up you when they're doing, when they're doing the tuna and stuff. And going into the centre, which is, you know, we were all naked, you know, filming in the centre because we didn't want to be disrespectful. Um, so, I just don't understand how they let us do that. Like, 